And this is another very interesting vision. Shri B. N. Rao, who was one of our first judges who went to the International Court, was constitutional advisor to the Constituent Assembly and came out with a draft constitution. It was always his view that directive principles should have precedence over fundamental rights. Now, directive principles are in a separate chapter, borrowed again from the fresh or the new constitution of 1946 of Ireland. Interestingly enough, the Irish constitution was a Catholic constitution. It was not a secular constitution. And the directive principles that formed particularly parts of our 39 B and C went back to papal bulls. That is, a papal bull is something which is like an order which is issued by the Pope sitting in Rome. And 39 B and C are supposed to go back to Pope Innocent III, who was very famous in history for one other act. For one other act. He nullified Magna Carta the moment it was made. Now, we are in the 800th year of Magna Carta, 1215. As soon as King John was forced to sign it by the barons, the Pope there nullified it. Now, this same Pope came out with our Articles 39b and c. So, it was borrowed from a Catholic constitution and shoved into a secular constitution. It's a very interesting thing. And 39b and c tell us what? They only tell us that the material resources of the community shall be so distributed as best to subserve the common good. Socialism at its highest, the people, for the people, everything for the people. And the concentration of wealth shall not be in the hands of a few to the detriment of the many.